Hi everybody and welcome to another weekly update video. I hope you all had a good week and we are now at Friday and hopefully you've managed to get that to-do list down and are heading into the weekend feeling stress-free. So I wanted to cover off some of the Azure updates that have been happening this week. So there's been kind of two things that I want to focus on. The first one is that the Backup Explorer um, for Azure Backup is now in preview. Um, if you haven't seen or heard about this service, it's the ability to be able to, and I'm going to check what the, the product team have actually said about it, is give you that single pane of glass that we're all searching for to be able to monitor our backups. And it integrates with Azure Lighthouse. So if you are managing multiple Azure tenants, subscriptions, etc., you can actually utilize the Backup Explorer to view all of those in one pane of glass. So you don't have to switch um, profiles. You don't have to change um, your Azure and log in and manage all of that. You can now do that in the Backup Explorer. So please do have a look at it and um, give us any feedback if you have it um, and see how that service can grow. Um, I think, you know, it is a good thing and I certainly would have enjoyed it um, had I had it a few months previous to when I joined Microsoft and I was managing multiple customers' backups in Azure. So it's definitely something to have a wee look at. And the other thing is that Azure Key Vault is now enabled to work with Azure Private Link. And again, Azure Private Link allows you to traverse the Microsoft backbone um, across our services without actually going across the public internet, which was a bit of a, a stickler for some of our customers. It was, it was a security risk or deemed a security risk by some customers, um, traversing the public internet for uh, interacting with a certain Azure services. So Private Link tries to stop that and now you can actually utilise Azure Key Vault with it as well. So um, the integration of that, again, have a look at it, check the features, check the functionality, let us know if you have any feedback or, or we notice anything wrong with it, and we can um, feed that back into the product team to, to, to investigate as well. If you watched my last weekly update video, you would have seen that I was in Redmond um, on campus for Microsoft, and I utilised the autonomous video booth there, um, which is a kind of self-service um, video booth that has audio, has you know, soundproofing, um, green screens, teleprompter, um, whole shebang, and I love the fact that it had two camera angles and you could play with that. And if you get if you saw my, my video last week, you'd have seen I played with those two different camera angles and edited them in. Now this week I've been working on editing some of the video content that I actually um, recorded at that in that booth as well. Um, and the videos will be coming out later this month or next month, accompanied by vlog, blog posts as well on itopstalk.com. Um, to go with them and what I'm actually thinking about now that we've got the two angles is looking at utilizing two cameras for filming my weekly update video. So there's another camera on me at the moment filming uh, and recording a different angle and I'm really looking for some feedback on whether you like that kind of um, editing style with the two cameras and switching between them for context. Um, as I'm looking to use that, like I said, for this weekly update video, and I'm also looking to try and film myself while I'm doing tutorials that involve me um, doing something maybe on the Azure portal or on my PC, so is that instead of just looking at my PC, you've actually got a view of me and I can talk to the camera and, and make that a kind of more seamless um, experience as well. So um, let me know if you've got any any thoughts on that, any tips, any tricks on how to do that editing wise or filming it or audio or or whatever. I'd love to hear um, if you've got any experiences as well. Now, the other thing that I've been trying to look at this week is um, actually getting a new backpack or an additional backpack to the backpacks that I already have. So when I travel, I tend to travel with my Swiss gear um, and I think it's the Synergy laptop bag and it's quite a big bag backpack so I can usually fit my Surface Book in it, I can fit um, another laptop in it, my iPad and I can get my charging cables, I can even get two days worth of clothes in that backpack, I can get a plethora of stickers as well. It's a really great backpack but the thing with it is that it's really big and bulky if I'm just commuting to the office for the day. 
it's quite bulky. Like I said, it's quite bulky, it's quite big. And I'm looking for a smaller backpack that I can use just when I'm, I'm nipping to the office or I'm just even nipping down to London for the day and I really only need one backpack. I don't need, uh, sorry, one laptop and I don't need additional clothes and stuff like that. I'm really looking for a, compu a computer, no, commuters laptop bag. Something that you can, that's your daily kind of go-to bag without being too big. Um, I have some requirements, so like I said, I want it to be able to um, hold my Surface Book. I want it to be able to hold my charging cables and my wallet. And I'd really love a strap to sit on rolling luggage, um, like that hidden kind of pass, I think it's a pass-through strap they call it. Um, if I did want to actually travel with it and then that way I've got a really light backpack and then I can have my um, suitcase with the clothes and stuff that I need um, externally. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. Some people on Twitter already have, have given me some great ideas. Um, I think the closest actually I've found to what I'm looking for is something Colin Westwater suggested, um, which is a bit left field, to be honest. Um, it's not a, a named brand you would expect for backpacks, but Colin actually suggested the an Amazon Basics backpack, which re looks really good, looks um, ticks all the boxes in terms of functionality and, and the price point's actually quite good and it comes in a number of colours. Um, so that's one option, but if anybody else has any options, please do suggest as I haven't um, hit the button on doing anything about that yet. Um, something else I wanted to ask everybody about is um, when I was travelling for the last couple of weeks, I developed a cough and it's a cough I seem to develop when I'm travelling. So um, often when I'm travelling, I will be stuck inside airports, stuck inside planes, hotel air conditioning, conference centre air conditioning, and I don't get a lot of fresh air um, as such. And I don't know whether my lungs are just trying to accustomise themselves to that new environment, try to deal with that. Um, some days it's better than others. Other days I can spend all day coughing and it's quite bad. Um, since I've been home, it's eased off. It gets, there's some days I don't even cough anymore. Some days it comes back, um, especially since we've had this cold weather. So again, I don't know whether it's my lungs accommodating to the difference in temperature, difference in environment, but please, if anybody's got any suggestions, someone suggested actually using a humidifier when I was traveling in my hotel room to try and alleviate it, because um, it could be the dry air and the air conditioning, um, the, but it's not something I've, I've ever tried before. So, yep, if you've got any suggestions on how to deal with this kind of, I want to call it traveler's lung, <laughs> um, please do let me know um, as it is a bit frustrating. Um, but maybe it is something I need to actually go to the doctor about. Um, but yeah, that's that's been me. I'm focusing this week really on blogging, editing the content that I, I did in Redmond, finishing off the blog posts that go with that. And then next week, I'm actually going to be concentrating on presentations. So I've got a couple of upcoming events and I need to concentrate on finishing the PowerPoint slides and demos for that and getting getting into the, 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 the mood or cadence of practicing that talk and, and delivering it. So that's the next couple of weeks for me. Um, but hopefully you've all had a really good week and you're looking forward to going to the weekend and you've got some great plans for um, planned as well with friends and family. So um, please do let me know your thoughts on the dual cameras and how you like that editing. If you've got any suggestions on backpacks for me and also on my traveller's lung issue that I'm having with this cough. If you've got any suggestions, I'd really like to hear it. Have a good one, everybody, and I will see you next week.